Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. In reloading, when you go to fill up a primer feed tube, uh, you have to get all the primers facing the right direction in order for things to work correctly. However, when you dump out a tray of primers as they come from the manufacturer, uh, the orientation of the primers is going to be essentially random. You know, some of them will be facing the right direction and others will not. So typically you'll have to pick up the ones that are facing the right direction to load into the primer feed tube and then flip over the rest of them so that you can load them in the correct orientation. Now, the improvisational method of doing that involves uh, cutting the label of the primer tray into uh, sections and then using these little pieces of cardboard to invert the primers. That works, but I was thinking it was high time that I got myself a proper primer inversion tray to make the process easier. Now, the way a primer inversion tray works is it's simply a tray that comes in two parts. So you can dump the primers out in one half of the tray, pick up the ones that are uh, facing the right direction, then put the top on, flip it over, inverting the primers, take the top off and then pick up the rest of them. Now, uh, they make these commercially, but I had recently gotten myself a 3D printer, and so I decided to print my own, and that's what this is, is a 3D printed primer inversion tray. Uh, the filament to print this probably cost me about as much as just buying a primer inversion tray, so I didn't necessarily save a lot of money. Uh, but the 3D printed one seems to work just fine, and I didn't have to pay shipping, and I didn't have to wait for delivery. So there were some marginal advantages there. Anyway, I will probably upload the STL file for this to the Reloaders Network in case anybody else out there wants to print your own primer inversion tray as well. Uh, and until next time, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.